Okay, okay. So what happened was this, I think. Everyone was all freaked out by the zombies, and I thought it'd be funny by playfully suggesting that I eat Carol's brains. I don't want to eat Carol's brains. Never Trying have, to convince everyone he is like, not see, a zombie. Grayson, a North Oyster zombies. student, collaborated no, to create Carol's this monologue for drama, something he has a passion for. I always really like movies and TV, and I want to be a director when I grow up, so I figure this is actually really zombies. cool. Drama hasn't been an opportunity for North Oyster students in recent years, but that all changed when Ladysmith High School student Kat Cunningham learned about the program's absence. I'm a North Oyster alumni, and when I was in grade 7, we had a drama program, and I found out that they didn't do that anymore, and I was like, I love drama, it's so great. Um, so I decided to kind of bring it back. Yeah, we're going to be doing some like character development, and then I'd like you to start doing... This is Kat's second year offering drama to the students. Vice Principal Jim Pasco says having this kind of help is extremely valuable. One of the things that's not always easy, especially in a smaller school like this, um, where you don't have a lot of teaching staff, is to offer a wide range of programs and things. So it's great when the students that have come to this school in the past come back and, and give back and help out. You're kind of playing with the bottom of your shirt. You know, I look forward all the time to coming to North Oyster. It's like, okay, when's school done so I can go to North Oyster, let's go. It's been really fun, you know, like, she's not so strict that we always have to be working on our lines. It's just nice because instead of working with the teachers who are always like, work, 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 not allowed to talk to anyone, she's a little bit more lenient with that. If you're having fun, then you want to come back to it more and more. And I think that if more teachers did that, then students would be more interested in learning. Well, With the drama program so successful, so Kat decided to bring back another program that was influential and important well, to her in grade 7, specifically for young girls. Our girl power like, kind of motto is be yourself and be happy with who you are. It's kind of like the years where they kind of grow up really fast and I'm kind of just prepping them for that almost. A lot of girls look at the girls in the magazine and think, wow, why can't I look like that? When in reality it's a lot of Photoshop, makeup applied, like 10 pounds of it and you're not going to look at like that. Discussing topics like beauty, image and stereotypes, the Girl Power Group is creating a video as well as a musical theater piece that will look at serious topics like eating disorders. Eat zero calories. It'll be tricky with mom and dad. There's no way they'd let me do this. Looking deeper into the topics surrounding image has proven to be empowering for the young girls involved. Beautiful is more than just being a size zero zero. I've always been a little bit self-conscious about myself and I've always thought, oh, other girls are so beautiful, they probably think they're so special and everything. And then just seeing them be like, oh no, I'm not that special, you're so pretty. It kind of picks yourself up and then you get to pick them up too. I think it's really important and it develops a kind of sense of community within the school. They all work together to create something that they really enjoy and then get to share with others. Obviously academics are the main reason you're here, but it's those other things that make you feel part of a school. So when you can do extra uh, plays and stuff like that, it, it allows a different kind of student often to shine, and that's what makes them feel like they're part of the school. So I think it's super, super important. Kat plans on continuing the drama program next year, and because of the closure to a Cole Davis Road school, she expects twice as many students and hopes to put on a full-length musical. In Ladysmith, I'm Kelly Robinson. They were the best tacos I'd ever had.